Hi guys, Lori here. I'm here today to do my Tis the Season Thon Readathon TBR. I loved participating in this readathon last year. It actually motivated me to read a lot of holiday themed books. They do have a pretty like ambitious TBR for in December. Um, but I did want to focus the first week on books focusing on this readathon. I will do a readathon vlog, which I'm really excited about. But I love participating last year, and I actually just ordered my books for this readathon um, because I don't actually own any. I said this in like last year, I read all of my Christmas themed books that I like owned, um, so I needed I needed to acquire a few new ones. Um, and these prompts, some of them are like Christmassy themed, and some of them aren't. So let's get into it. This readathon is hosted by Bookables, Super Space Chick, and I think a couple other people. I really loved it last year; that it was so much fun. Um, so I'm really happy that I get to dive back into this readathon because it was so much fun last year. Um, this readathon goes to the 2nd to the 8th, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, 2nd to the 8th. Um, and if you go to my blog post where I talk about it, you will see all of their links. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. Um, the first prompt that they gave us was read a book with snow on the cover. So I actually ordered... I have one audio, but I have a bunch of different books. But the one that I'm hoping to read um, is Blood Spell by C.J. Redwine. This book totally has ice on the cover and snow on the cover, so totally fits this prompt. And it's also a fairy tale retelling, um, and I'm really hoping that I enjoy it. Um, I still haven't read Trader's Prince, but... I know that they're like companion novels, so you don't really have to read them in order. Um, and if I feel like I'm missing something, I will just read Trader's Prince immediately. But um, I know that it's a Cinderella retelling, and that's really all that I know. And I don't really want to know too much going into it. But that's a book that I've chosen for that prompt, and I hope that I really enjoy it when I get around to reading it. The next prompt for this readathon is read a holiday themed book. Now, this is the prompt that I have like three different options. So I'm just gonna tell you all the titles and tell you guys a summary if I remember it. Um, one of my prompts, one of my books is My True Love Gave to Me, 10 by Dates, or Love and Other Train Wrecks. Sorry, I misspoke in the previous clip. It's my true crush gave to me. Um, and that is a Secret Santa inspired holiday read, which I haven't read before. So I'm actually really excited to read it. And I did get the audio, the audio book for that. So that I'll probably listen to that week for sure. Um, the next one is Love and Other Trainwrecks. And I read this summary at Barnes & Noble a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I, it's about these two kids. They wind up being in a snowstorm and they're trapped on a train together and are trying to get back somewhere for New Year's Day, um, which is a holiday themed book. So I'm really excited about that. And I also love reading snowstorm books. Last year I read The Chaos of Standing Still in January and I really like that book as well. So hopefully that this book has similar results. And the last book is one that I actually already read. But if I'm feeling a little bit stressed out, I might wind up picking up the group book, 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston. I read it over the summer and found it to be so cute and so adorable. Um, so I actually might wind up rereading that if I have time because that's the group book. But those are my options for that prompt. Next prompt is read a book that was a gift to you. So I have a lot of books that I'm gifted throughout the years because people just know that I like to read. So I have a lot. And according to Bookables, a gift could be like anything. So I'm going to tell you three options. I may want to picking up different books. It really depends. But um, the first one I'm gonna, I might want to bring is Ghosts by Raina Telgemeier. Um, and this is a, actually it's kind of a speaky read, but it's about ghosts, about these two sisters um, but ghosts wind up invading their lives. And it's also super short. It's not that long. Um, I could probably read this on the train ride one day just because it's rather short. Um, but it also is a graphic novel, so I might actually be able to read it with a snack that I may be eating. Um, and that would be the next prompt. Another book that I know I definitely got for Christmas last year is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. My friend Tiffany got this for me. 
she really liked it and I've actually been getting more motivated to read um, women romance books so I, this might actually want to be a read that I wanted to picking up but I definitely got it last year um, and then this one I kind of tweaked a bit but I want I wound up getting an arc from a publisher as a gift um, so I might want to picking up Where Dreams the Sun by Janelle Angelis. Now this one does not come out until 2020, like summer 2020. So if I did wind up diving into this, it will be a very early review, but I know that Alexa really liked it from Alexa Loves Book. So these are my options for, um, a gift. I have a lot of options, but these are just some of them. Ooh, my books fell. That always happens when I film videos. Um, and then the next prompt is read a book while you're eating a snack. Um, a Christmassy theme snack. So I might go to CVS when I'm shopping for Black Friday and pick up some snacks and I will probably wind up reading this when I'm eating it just to be a little bit Christmassy. So yeah. Um, and then the last physical, like the last prompt that I came up with was read a book with music in the title and my new crush gave to me is kind of a like spinoff on a um, song my true love gave to me so I figured that will work for that and that I'm definitely gonna read that was the one book I'm definitely gonna read because I just bought the audiobook and it's a very very short audiobook um and then the last prompt for them is read the group book which is 10 blind dates by Ashley Elston I already read it but I might want to picking it up again and the premise of that book is there's this girl named Sophie and her boyfriend winds up breaking up with her like the week of Christmas which is horrible um and her big extended family which I love big extended families because that's my life decides to set her up on 10 blind dates over the course of this week and you follow the dates some of them are so funny they're all awesome I love the big family I really found it to be such a fun read um and that is a book I highly recommend if you've not read it yet um but I, I've already read it so I can definitely participate in the live show when they do their live show but yeah, that's my plans for my TBR. My TBR always gets a little bit wonky because I always wind up picking new things. But that's my plan TBR. And I'm really excited to read some Christmassy themed books. If you have any Christmassy themed books that you think I'm forgetting, comment below. If not, I'll talk to you guys for my reading wrap up in about a week. Bye guys.